Before we begin today's video, let me just show you why an all pops chimps with cannon ship nowadays is impossible. Since update 41, the cannon ship's frags no longer target the primary target of the, uh, the attack itself. So let's say, for example, the bad here. The, uh, the cannon ship nowadays can no longer use its frags to actually damage the target. And because they removed the better sharpening stone from the game, it means that the damage done by the frags, which would otherwise be there, can no longer be applied which as a result removes a lot of much needed damage in order for this experiment to actually be possible. So we can only get up to 1.956 or perhaps a little bit even more than that at the very, very max. So just going to dispel that um, theory that an all pops cannon ship is possible. Yes, you could say with all this that a call to arms as well as a homeland defense might make this a bit better. But there's also the factor that you just don't have enough money in order to get all of that all together. Even if you replace these three ninjas with quarter arms, it just, it wouldn't suffice. Because you have no mechanism to get through round 98 when it comes to speed control outside of a glue gunner. So let's get on with the video at hand here. Two mega pops for cannon ship. We can start this game off with a base buccaneer, no upgrades needed. Place Gerardo down on round 10 and then we can commence with the rest of this. Even if you had completely optimal time with both Homeland Defense and Call to Arms, alongside using Rejuve Potions from Geraldo, you're still going to see that a bad just makes it way too far into the map in order to do an all pops chimps. Hot shots on round 14, so we can pop lead balloons, although it does mean now that we're more susceptible to purples just going through. But we do have cannon ship on the way, and we still got our darts for the time being because in update 42, Ninja Kiwi changed the cannon ship so it no longer fires darts. But each grape shot now does two damage rather than one. Go up to cannon ship, and we're gonna go faster firing and double shot, even though it's not even double shot nowadays. <laughs> Maybe more shot would be better than double shot because it used to be double the weapons on the ship, so two cannons for a prize of one. Two greats for a prize of one. You get where I'm going at, actually. Attack of old nails at the end of the track around 24 to deal with this camo balloon because we do not need to waste 215 on an upgrade which we can circumvent with just a 55 upgrade. Adds a powerful cannon that shoots out powerful bombs. It doesn't actually say that it does have frags, unlike, let's say, a frag bombs tower, which has also been implemented quite recently to be worse than it was. Ninja Kiwi, I'm just going to say this right now. Why do you keep making changes to the game that makes no sense other than to nerf the tower? I don't have an innate camo detection just yet for our cannon ship, so invisibility potion it is in order for us to get through that round and every little bit of discount helps, actually. I'm going to go up to Homeland Defense and possibly primary mentoring or just at the very least primary training. Get two different sorts of uh, villages down to benefit both our cannon ship and our glue gunners which we need for support now i'm wondering if the cannon ship does benefit with pickles or it takes away potential damage from it i think with the grapes it adds damage but with the cannons themselves i'm not too sure to be honest although we do have frag so that could be a benefit i'm not too sure on how much damage each frag does actually i think about it now and the total amount of frags in which the um the cannon ship deploys out with just the cannons alone like it's such an unnecessary change for balancing purposes because sometimes balancing purposes can be something that can be used to sort out something which would otherwise be unintentional or it could just be something that would outright flat out ruin the tower in and of itself okay maybe ruin is a strong word but it's definitely not as better as it was. Just saying that out loud. Okay, let's see if Pickles actually helps us out here. Against single targets. Can this by itself take down the Moab? And that is a... That's a definite yes. Do you want both an overclock and at a later point in the game an absolute zero ice hour? By the way, when it comes to attacks, the attacks don't don't actually go through line of sight but the aura that it emits does go through line of sight so therefore at a little bit of time any balloons that would be up here that are non moab class will be slowed down as they're passing through these logs overclock is the name of the game 
<laughs> it does have that voice. <laughs> you would admit that voice on as soon as I say that. Gosh, damn it, Geraldo. I said it in the hopes of you saying it, but because you said it, I'm like, <laughs> you just simply had to. What's next? I think... Hmm. Let's hold out for just a little bit longer, actually, before we get MIB. I do want a, a Moab Blue Goa of some kind. Let's just stick with 013. And then for the other one, we will attach ourselves with a, um... I, I guess we cannot fit it here. Can we? Uh, no, it's a smidge too... It's a smidge, it's a smidge too up top, if you get what I mean. Right, we'll have to just place them over here. Much to people's dismay. Actually, we don't even need this thing for camo detection, per se. We just need for it to, um... Uh, to glue strike and then it can affect cameras. Don't have any issues on round 62. Let's go with the MIB and get that up and running. And then after that, we're going to be actually we'll get a glue strike so we can get some extra damage down as soon as possible. Now there's a minute. Uh, there's a common misconception with glue strike and it's um additional damage cast when you use the ability of itself. Now, as far as I can remember, there are three conditions in which the uh, glue strike ability itself is removed from a targeted balloon. Number one, the balloon itself is just outright popped. Number two, with the bottom path in particular as a cross path, enough layers from the balloon itself has been popped in order for the, uh, the glue itself to disappear. Because if you don't go top path, with the uh, glue soak, which enables the glue to soak into all layers of the balloon itself. So that's from the, like, from ceramic and below. I think it doesn't apply to mower class balloons. But then the third one is enough time has passed to where the glue just naturally disappears as if it was struck by the glue by default. So let's say if I use the glue strike, I'm gonna use it on the next round actually when the fortified mo comes out. And that is the fact that when you use the glue strike ability, all balloons currently on screen, as long as they're not popped or downscale in some ways too much, they will receive plus two damage. And it's only when one of the three conditions that I just like said are met, that is when the plus two damage is removed from the balloon. Because somebody said like the plus damage or the plus two damage is only ever applied when you get glue store into place. That's simply not true. What you have to do is that Blue Storm is much more reliable because it literally just pelts the screen for a long time rather than just being an instantaneous effect. Also, we're using it on round 63 so that we can get that much more damage down on the ceramics. This is fine where it is at the moment, and I believe I'm going to just stick with Blue Strike rather than go with Blue Storm because I only want the additional damage to be... Um, not always on the screen itself, but enough so that it makes a difference when it comes to high value, well, high uh, RBE targets such as these fortified MOABs. I don't want it constantly pelting the screen because I just want it for its, um, well, both its, number one, its ability to slow down uh, balloons, but number two, just for additional damage onto the uh, balloons themselves, but not like constantly. And I do want money so that I can get out to zero so that I have another means of slowing down balloons and also MOABs. Did you know that round 69 does not consist of any MOABs whatsoever? Like there's this round and 76, which are the only rounds I think after the, um, the BFB spawns on round 60 where not a single MOAB appears on the screen. Or maybe I am just misinformed but i do believe that is true we could skip homeland defense and just go with glue storm and uh, absolute zero but i'd rather just go with absolute zero homeland defense and keep this as a glue strike to be honest to be perfectly honest do you smell that that is cool to arms cooking in the oven right there ladies and gentlemen and with that we're going to well increase our fire rate and pierce when new balance changes comes out and it sometimes completely redefines the tower itself, people can be a little bit misconcepted when it comes to the fact that uh, the tower in question, which they believe can do one thing, can no longer do that one thing. So, for example, there are still people who comment about the fact that Geraldo, you can completely refill his stock after the first time you place him down 
by just simply selling him and rebuying him to get him to level 20. That has not been a thing since the first mini update after Geraldus' debut into the game itself. People keep thinking that you can just simply re... well, sell him, then rebuy him to get his Paragon Power Totems back so that you can, um... Do that particular challenge I like to do every time a new Paragon comes out where I get all the Paragons up to level 100 without cooperation from another player. But it's just the fact that sometimes when people read stuff on the internet, they think it's absolute concrete, especially when it comes to somebody that they see as a completely reliable source of information. Like there's stuff that I'm going to say in this video, which I would otherwise be wrong. But at the time of recording this, I feel like at the time, that the information that I try and provide out is the most concrete that it can be. Whereas like, let's say in the future, if you're watching this in update 43 or update 44 or whatever the next update is, that information spilled out now may be different uh, when you're watching it than as of right now. Clumped up BFBs can sometimes be a big issue on round 75 here. Like, we're just simply down to pink balloons and, oh gosh, our worst enemy has yet again reared his ugly head to defeat us. But it's like, climbs up BFBs are a big problem. Pickle seems to be the way for it because that was a lot of damage that was increased onto the cannon ship itself. So I think in some areas we do lose damage, but in more areas we gain damage. Which is better. Now, how do we combat round 78 in this humongous amount of ceramics on the round? Well, it's very simple. We're going to use Cruise Strike and Call to Arms in order for us to get through this scenario. Just like that. Just like that. Second wave of ceramics this time camo fight. But once again, with a combination of our raw strength. And some support here and there. We can make it through the round. Oh, great. Just what I want to see. We grow rainbows in huge numbers. Yeah, my main worry is if they're going to regrow. But I think because we have pickles, we're doing enough damage to where they cannot simply just regrow at a rate in which is going to be worrying for us. But there's still some regrows on the screen, which is annoying me. Uh, just, just go away, regrows. You're not welcome here. The next time we're going to see you is um, on, well, round 90 because of DDTs, but mainly round 95. We've got the better invisibility potion, so now let's use it so that we can target these balloons over here, even when they're not a Moab. Our first ZOMG of the day. And since this is a tier 3 tower, it means that Overclock has a higher than 100% uptime on it, so we don't have to constantly worry about constantly reapplying it the moment that Overclock comes back. We're doing enough damage in order to take down the ZMG quite early, but that's just with the fact that <laughs> that's just the weakest ZMG of the entire game. The tougher ones have yet to come. And there goes the rest of the ZMG right there. Oh gosh, what? <laughs> that's why some speed control is very important in two mega pops. You want to slow them down enough so that you can uh, compensate for your lack of power. Which definitely the cannon ship lacks power. Last lot of BFBs. Definitely equal to arms so that we have enough pierce to get through this slot. And there we go. That's the round. Now, believe it or not, um, the next round should be slightly easier because we're going to have a lot of damage against fortified balloons. And with every the projectile that we have we can kind of do enough damage just so as long as there's more than one target so that the frags can then move to another target because they no longer target the parent balloon thanks ninja kiwi for that quote-unquote necessary balance change <laughs> uh, i love ninja kiwi but some of their changes sometimes does question me there goes round 82. That was even easier than round 81, which is actually a rare thing to say. Let's see. Bunched up ceramics here and there. They're definitely bunched up because of our glue gunners here. Controlling their speed. A flying machine. <laughs> Lots of flying machines. I bought that. Uh, quite a bizarre skin, might I add, in which Ninja Kiwi added to it Moab, which is a bolt. 
They're not going to be saving anyone's lives. In fact, they're going to just going to be taking away lives if they are actually lifeguard boats. We are 10 or well, 11k away, sorry, from the homeland defense. I'm actually not too sure if we can get there. Maybe it was a, a big mistake of getting relentless glue and glue splatter for um, this glue gunner here. I probably should have just beelined it for homeland defense, kept this at. Or so a zero four two. So if it's like fourth of this, we're well, we'll definitely using a one support tower here for two mega parts. Uh, the only reason why you have top part glue gunner at all, past level, well, sorry, tier one, is uh, is to be the intended two mega parts uh, tower. And um, even when I try to do a four two zero in my spare time, it's uh, it's just not working out well. There goes round 84. Now, with two ZOMGs to annihilate through the power of both Blue Strike and Court of Arms, we can inflict a little bit of damage. Not a lot. I've always kept the cannon ship on strong, so it's always time to be the strongest, most blue on screen. Because remember, it can fire both sides out of its uh, ship. So it's like it's always targeting the ones behind it, whereas the left-hand side is always targeting the strongest, most blue, which I think is actually wise for this, depending on your scenario. Like, not all maps are logs, which are essentially equivalent to the M25 in the UK, where it's literally a London orbital. <laughs> it's an orbital around the city of London, where you keep going around it and around it and around it and around it. Perhaps on the M25, this strategy could work. And there goes the rest of round 85. Hopefully, ceramics are very stubborn. Don't you do that. You're on fire. You're literally being blasted with explosions, but yet you still stand. How dare ye do that? Yeah, if we didn't get Relentless Glue, we could have had the Homeland Defense ready for this round. I guess we've got a bit of a difficult task ahead of us. Yeah, the frontmost ZMG was not taken down first because the frags of the cannon ship itself does not target the, um, the primary tower. So in that case, the ones in the middle were decomposed of its ZMG status first because it was also receiving frag damage alongside the grape and explosive damage. Thank you, Ninja Kiwi. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Thank you for the unnecessary changes that nerfs the tower to oblivion which makes it no longer pot and also as well the good sharpening stone being removed um yeah it definitely makes that scenario no longer possible also speaking of realms of possibility can we do this we can with a little bit of tweaking uh it's just down to timing of abilities because quarter arms is definitely not going to come back when we need it honestly need to use quarter arms as late as possible so but we can actually do this round uh perhaps i did it too late actually yeah, done it. Uh, 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 I'm messing up, mucking up my words now. Yeah, we've done it too late. We've done it too late. Done it too late. We need to do a slice sooner. Uh, stupid up, clump, stupid bun, uh, clumped up Moabs. Lost my train of thought there. And my ability to speak in the process. Do we need it? No, we don't need it. Excellent. <laughs> Managed to do that round finally. With four money to spare. This time, not 420, but just four. <laughs> Imagine a two pop stims challenge where every single tower you place down can only get two pops. Um, mission impossible. But is it improbable? Is it impossible? I mean, sorry. I wouldn't say it's impossible, but I'd say it's stupidly improbable. Also, you would need over a million towers on the screen, and there just simply is not enough room on the screen in order to fit all those towers on. Quote me if I'm wrong then. And with proof. Don't just say it and then go from there. There goes round 89. Homeland De Defense sorry, is really coming into help here nowadays. Okay, DDT territory. No, thank you. Once you're stuck, we'll use the glue strike and the DDT should go down. Just like that. No Homeland Defense ability required for round 90 DDTs. No storm going to go towards the absolute zero for the extra means of balloon speed control. Come on now. Oh, green. As long as it's just that green. It's not going to just be that green one. Okay, let's just freeze them. Let's just freeze them in the hopes that does something. No, it's not going to do something. That ceramic is still there. Being an absolute ass. 
There goes round 91. Also, sharpening stone kind of helped. It only really applies to the frag aspect of the cannon ship, but... Yeah, I was thinking, originally it was like, well, why is it still... Why can't it still have the ability to have a uh, sharpening stone when it doesn't even have its darts anymore? It's like, yeah, but it's still the frag aspect of the cannon, so... There's that, even though it feels like the... Uh, that aspect is just no longer in existence because you can't see the frags themselves, really. Can you? No, you can't. There's no little shards coming out, and uh, yeah. Apparently, balloons can't take damage, and yellow balloons will always be in my nightmares. Yeah, we're going to get absolute zero, and then we're going to get ourselves a spike storm in order to help us out around 100 because, as you probably saw at the beginning of the video, Trying to get every single pop with the cannon ship nowadays is impossible. But first we have to get through these rounds. And as you can tell, ceramics are still finding a way to evade being damaged. Congratulations. Oh gosh, still too many goddamn ceramics on the screen at times. Sometimes I feel like incredibly pierced cap because of little ones rather than big ones. Can we do the rest of this round? That looks like a yes. Round 95. The o what I think I was on round 95. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, maybe because it feels like this game's been going on for so long, but I feel like I'm on a different round altogether. Sometimes when stuff takes so long, it feels like time and space itself collapses. No, I won't be able to get Homeland Defense back up running in time. That should be round. We have Homeland Defense active, and there goes the rest of it. Good, only six rounds away. But it's still those six rounds. No, for the sake, ceramics. It's never, sometimes it's not the moabs themselves, but it's the insides, which are so annoying. It's like, half the time it feels like they're just immune to damage. Oh great, because of the fact that the cannons are being blocked by those ceramics, it means we can't do anything against these little critters. <sighs> this is so annoying, honestly. Like, I'm still having fun in general, but despite the fact that I'm sound like I'm not having a good time, but it's just the fact that this is just such a weak tower. Like weaker towers feels more rewarding to get a two mega pops on. But it's like at the same time, I could be having more fun by I don't know, getting monkey pirates, but I've already done that scenario on Winter Park. Oh, there's too much going on again. Too much pierce to overcome. Why do these ceramics have to be like this? I don't even care anymore. We're just going to use a rejuve potion in the hopes that we can actually just get through this now. Because I am fed up of this round. I'm fed up of round 94 already. And I just want to get through it and then proceed to the next round. But I guess no, because these set of Moabs are just two clumps up together, and not even that surprises me for goodness sakes. But I'm not using the second one. Oh. I, I give up with this scenario, honestly. This is just such a stupid tower. No, we're going to be pierce capped. We're going to be pierce capped. Oh, I'm so over this. Like, anything I do just doesn't matter on this game. You know what? I'm I'm done with this. I've used both of them, and that's still not enough to do this stupid scenario. Guess we just spent the next half an hour doing another run, but ignoring Homeland Defense and going to um, Absolute Zero and some Balloon Sabos sooner. Yep. Your boy is. Oh, no matter what I do, there's always going to be a person that is angry with me. Always saying that I'm doing everything wrong and that I should reconsider my life choices. Perhaps it's wiser to go the safer option rather than the more vigorous option with Homeland Defense, rather than getting the even more additional pierce and attack speed issue, uh, uh, option. Why not just simply go for the usual grind them to a halt option with the uh, absolute zero sabo and uh, Relentless Glue combination. I know that's only a Moab Glue, but it will be one at some point. Don't you worry. Well, that wasn't so bad now, was it? Well, me and the password thing. Well, wait, you're being stupid. Why did you do that? Should have gone with a more adventurous route. 
but sometimes doing the uh, the safer route is the better option in these tales. But less PS to deal with the DETs. But at least we have the um, the inventory available in order to take these down. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to. I wouldn't want to try and do this again, would I? No, that wouldn't be good for anyone, especially for me. Uh, no, you're gonna do that, aren't you? And you have to be that layer. But perhaps I just left it a bit too late using call to arms and all that shenanigans. And uh, yeah, I kind of agree that I left it a little bit too late before you absolutely hammer me in the comment sections below about why all the things that I do in this game is not perfect and how I should once again reconsider my choices in life as to what I should do and what I should not. Treating everything in this game so seriously, like if it's like uh, going on to a... <laughs> picking your university or your college course and then deciding for the rest of your life on there as to what you're going to be doing. Come on, this is a game. It's not supposed to be that serious, okay? Found 96 with a cannon ship. That was a mythical number to try and reach. Round 95 was also mythical. Hopefully we'll get Glue Storm soon so that people won't mention about the fact that I didn't get Glue Storm throughout this video. Because that's a thing. Well, this is not the perfect spot for the ninja, but it's a far better spot than other ones. Like, if, it, if, if you get bunches of BFBs paired together, then this will attack. I think anyways, I don't know now. What I know is that today has gone on for too long with this particular adventure and I just want to get it all done. But even that is going to be very difficult considering this tower has negative pierce. Uh, no do. No do. No can do. Well, our absolute zero has seen a lot of pops because we need to use this as well in conjunction with it just so that we can slow down the balloons enough i guess some things are just very very improbable and worth yet again to criticize about well that was a better around 96 attempts i think we should be in the clear hopefully if there's no more bs with super ceramics along this point in time oh we're now on the fortified dmgs once again a mythical thing why did you get pops? You haven't got any pops. And you're around the same position back here. So why did you get pops? Maybe it's a range bug thing. And now down to BFBs. Which is pretty cool. I like it when they downscale. Just hope you don't downscale too fast. And too many of you. Otherwise we'll face a piss cap issue here. What's the next kind of Reddit mindset of people going to say? That I should have a stronger stimulant with perishing potions? On this cannon ship? You're right. That'll increase the power. But it also means that that same tower will steal so many pops from me. And guess what's on round 98? Lots of fortified balloons. In which the fortify so the perishing potions aspect will steal so many pops. But people don't understand that. Because Gerald isn't quite at level 20, it means we can put four creepy idols down for round 100. Which will be a marvellous thing when it comes to dealing with the remnants of the bad. If we get to the stage that is, because remember, we're on round 98. The most, or well, the biggest round in the game when it comes to RVE. Well, in this mode at the very least, in the chimps mode. While, you're, while you've got a slash within your round number. We need to use absolute zero at some point. But because we just used Glue Storm... It means we're still even more pops. Which wouldn't be ideal. I mean, 4,000 is not too bad. Pretty sure there are so many people out there who are a lot better at me at the game. We'll be able to get like a tenth of this. And produce just the same amount of results. Because they are just better at me at the game. And I accept that actually. I accept there's so many people out there that are far better at me at this game. Than I could ever dream of. Just the ZMGs left. But that in and of itself is not going to be an easy feat. Because there's so many of them. We are slowly making our way through this round. Just hope there's no more BS surprises from these ceramics. Because they can sometimes do that when there's a little gap where the glue storm is not active. That's a load of fun. Wow, we did this on our first try. 
Crikey. That's a surprise. People will be asking why I didn't do this on my first try. And that is why I, I'm going to say that I wanted to do Homeland Defense to be a bit more adventurous. But I guess sometimes that kind of thing backfires on you. But you've got these fortified DETs left to go before facing the big bad wolf. And just as a little thing going on here, I'm going to alchemize the spike storm possibly. We still need enough money for two redo potions. Hopefully, we have the money for the things that I need. Just like so. And because the fabric's around 100, I'm not really concerned if we do get perishing potions for our spike storm over here. We have enough money for that, which is good. Now let's commence. Yeah, that's enough steals from the spike storm. Let's just use what we have got left. Uh, 24. Uh, yeah, around 24k steals. That should be enough. That should be enough for us to get through the rest of the scenario, hopefully. Hopefully this game is not going to be too bad against me. While we're facing the bad. There we go. DT down. Oh, we should have done that a bit sooner, actually. Just so that it was frozen within the range of the cannon ship. Well, we didn't even get this up to relentless glue. But you know what? That's fine. We've done enough for one day. Perhaps we could have not got the alchemist for our spike storm here, but I'd rather get the extra damage done and up and up, up, up. I can't even speak now. I'm just that sanus that I am going to be mad one day. And when that day happens, you're all gonna wish you didn't give me so many sh silly requests. No. I do appreciate everyone's requests on what I could do for another video, but sometimes the tasks at hand can be simply too stupid to the point where I feel like you're not really testing this out yourself to see if it's possible with your own means. They're going to ruin business. Oh look at that, we did manage to get Relentless Clue, how did we do that? We didn't get um, Alchemist. Yeah, I purposely failed so that I could do that. I didn't actually, that was by mistake. There's the bad gone, and the DETs. Now it's just the rest of these to clear up and then we should be good and on our way to paradise. Paradise being the end of this video. <laughs> uh, despite the fact that I'm in a lot of pain in these scenarios sometimes, I do enjoy these challenges quite a bit. I'm not going to lie. It's very interesting to see where I muck up and all that jazz, but at the same time, I'm still not usually satisfied with the end result because sometimes I feel like the game comes down to RNG about Pierce if it actually connects to the balloon or not or if the projectile itself just disappears into thin air like if it was nothing so thank you all so much for watching I'm glad I came back to try this I really am. Can you tell by my voice that I'm having fun? Definitely am. For some odd reason, we managed to do this well with the G30 uh, cannon ship. Oh, anyways, so I feel so deflated after doing this challenge. Uh, I'm gonna take less requests in the future. I'll probably do like like a request like twice a week at the very max but because recently i've been taking a lot of requests from people and it's like sometimes i feel so deflated because like i'm not too sure which request to do because there's quite a few different ones that people suggest somebody suggested a um an ultra boost ray of doom two tower chimps up to around 140 and it's like just because one person was able to do that doesn't mean that i can do that and they're definitely a person who is much better at this game than I am. Just like in a lot of other scenarios. Oh hey, did you know recently somebody made a video of a Balloon Master Alchemist doing two Mega Pops? With a Condor exploit? Or well, maybe it's a feature of a Condor itself, I'm not too sure, but... I guess people are going to suggest me to do Balloon Master Alchemist without a single thought about the person who makes the videos. Because sometimes, people do forget that there is a person at the end of a microphone and not an AI in which people 
just keep believing is the case because of AI taking over everything. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what if you thought of the video down in the comment sections below. And uh, yeah, that was fun. <laughs>